And it wasn't like this last night because I rode on this last night and it was dry. So over about an eight hour period, it just flooded. And there's the school. And it hasn't quite reached over the, uh, the path of the school, the uh, foundation, but it's pretty close. As you can see, there's the concrete. And the water line is maybe about six to eight inches from reaching it. And as you can see, there's all the water there just rushing downhill because that's where the trail is as well. Uh, the trail reaches, the trail bends around and goes down there and just goes behind the school to the firehouse. But uh, that whole trail is just flooded. Probably going to be some uh, major corrosion damage. But it'd be nice if they did water tape them. Probably save a lot of damage, a lot of insurance. The same with the vents right there. If the water just goes up about another 10 inches. And, uh, the, the Staley School. Oh, I imagine the trail that goes but, uh, uh, going downwards is pretty a level hill with the river up ahead, the Mohawk River Trail. That's probably completely flooded. No. Depending how much more rain we get, I say by tomorrow morning it'll go down quite a bit. By tomorrow morning, but uh. Those trees are just covered. I mean, typically right in there, you can see uh, land right in there uh, when the Mohawk River is low, as it was before Fred came along. Not anymore. But like I said, a lot of this water is from the North Country because water flows downhill. as you can see. Let's see if he makes up. Yeah, I hope I can. It's only up like that. It's not very high. And that guy's going to turn around. He isn't going to risk it. But like I said, it's not up that high. But uh, this is up high. The last big rainstorm we had flooded uh, um, Staley School and Pinty Field. But I don't remember the water coming in the air. The remnants Plus of it's Henry. really humid. So the water might be not sticking out. Now. It does sprinkle or we get a quick downpour and then it stops. But uh, this is another view of Pinty Field, Pinty Park, off of uh, East uh, Dominic Street. Sorry, my narration's a little shitty. And uh, that building back there, that Staley School, which, well, <laughs> The kids won't be playing around there for a few days. The sad thing is, is that we probably definitely have more rain coming in this weekend with, uh, with uh, Hurricane Henry coming up the coast. I know that Gloucester, Massachusetts is going to get hit pretty good from it. And this is the bike trail behind Pinty Field, a pedestrian trail, and it goes down. And uh, like I said, last night I rode on this. <laughs> and I just had a feeling it was going to flood. Park. Landscape architect. 
civil engineer, Schumacher, structural, Ryan Biggs and Clark Davis, M.E.P. Erdman Anthony, landscape architect, T.W.M.L.A. of Ithaca, but, uh, shit, I can't tell if it's going to be that or if it's going to be a, like a ballet studio, I mean. But it'll definitely be a nice, uh, <laughs> it's pretty fancy for a boathouse. It could be a lot of days, but. And, uh. But the current should be going uh, east to west. Instead, it's going west to east. That kind of tells you how flooded everything is. Rivers go backwards when they're flooded. Well, this is the Barge Canal, but it's still going backwards. They haven't closed off the floodgate down there yet, but they probably will tonight. I imagine they're working on it. Usually when it floods like this, they close off the canal and they close all the flood. But the, the water really hasn't broken over the uh, wall yet, but it's, I don't think it will, but it might. Down that way, uh, we're another, uh, kayak launches and fisherman dock. It is flooded. <laughs> Everybody's got their umbrellas. It's only water. Then again, I don't like getting wet. Which is why I wish this were snow. Imagine if this was snow. Just imagine that. All this rain we got. Imagine if it was in the form of snow. Oh my God, we'd be buried. <laughs> It'd be like a couple feet worth of snow. But it's starting to let up a little. We'll just wait it out. the mouth of the Mohawk River and usually it's pretty calm but not today video might give you nightmares. And usually that dock over there is all dry, that land. Ducks and geese use it. There's an island uh, right in the middle here. That's all covered. And geese don't like it when the water is rough like this. So they're staying out of it. 
and that's where we were earlier. But it hasn't flooded over yet. Uh, it did one time when it flooded. I don't think it, it might do it yet, but I don't know. By the way, uh, off the record, uh, never let your kids come into this park alone. Because some of the people that hang out in this park or go through this park are uh, less than desirable. YouTube doesn't like when you say that, but then again, YouTube is uh, very socialist. Anyways, back to the flooding. 